Hey guys, Nicole here, and I have a haul for you. Um, I have a cherry on top haul, and then I have some stuff I got from Hobby Lobby and Joann's. So I'll just, and TJ Maxx, I'm sorry, and um, my TJ Maxx is pretty sad. I didn't really have hardly anything, and Joann's didn't have a lot either. So, but I got a few, I found a few things. So um, I don't think I'll start with TJ Maxx here. I found this really cute, and I think this may be part of their Christmas decor, maybe. Um, it's this vintage camera, and I thought it was so cute. It's it's a little glittery. Um, it was ten dollars. Oh, it's actually is it a piggy? I'm wondering if it's a piggy bank. I'm trying to figure out where you put the money in. Oh, there it is. It is. It's an actual piggy bank. I didn't even notice that. How funny. I don't know if I'll use it for that. I'll probably just use it for decor in my scrapbook room, but I thought that was really cute. Crazy. Okay. So there's that. Set that over here. Okay. And then they didn't have like almost all their Halloween stuff was gone, but they did have these on clearance for 70 cents. Um, and so I grabbed three of them. Because there were only 10 pieces in each, and they had Halloween and fall stuff in them. So, there's a look at what's all in there. You guys have probably all seen all these. Okay. And then they had these stickers, Martha Stewart stickers. And these were $1.49. I got one of those. And then they did have these Party Day um, stamps. I thought that'd be cute for my birthday stash there. Okay. That's all I got at TJ Maxx. And then at Joann's, I found, and there, this is all dollar spot, I think, except for the, except for the last couple of things. I grabbed some bling. They had some red. Um, some Christmassy stuff out, so I just grabbed some bling. And then from the dollar spot, they have these chipboard stickers from Studio G, and they're actually pretty cute. Like these are little Polaroids, or little just square or rectangles, but they're really cute. Um, and then these are tags. They're just yeah. So there's eight pieces, and then fifteen pieces. I grabbed one of these. I always like to have those little pads. Um, and these were just all a dollar a piece. These alphas from Studio 112. So it's got a variety of colors. This is a good size because sometimes those tiny, those tiny, what are they called? Sometimes they can be too little. And this is just these are a really good size. So oh, there's another one in here. I thought nope. Okay. Some more chipboard stickers. These were a dollar. And I grabbed these tag card and envelopes for a dollar. And I don't think that was. Let's see. I think these, I'm not for sure if these were a dollar or how much these were. These were in their regular scrapbooking section. But they're, um, if you can see in their arrows, and there's like, this is like golden craft, and that's like a silver and a gray. And then I got two of these. They were in the dollar spot. And then the headband for my girls. And then I got this foiled vellum stack. And thought that was really cute. There's, um... 24 sheets and it's 6 by 6 and so like back here you have just some regular white vellum and then it's all printed so some of it has like this is gold foil, black stars, gold hearts and you could honestly like for instance this one is gold foil but the back you still see that gold color but it's more of a matte look so you could really do either side if you didn't want the super shiny and black polka dot so that's really cute. And then this is all they had left of their fall Halloween stuff. They had this fall and Halloween cork stack. 
I thought was cute, but it could be used for anything. It's not really specific to, well, that one kind of is. Um, for the most part, it's not really that specific to Halloween, so it could just be a nice 6x6 cork stack with printed. And then their paper pads were 40 off, and I found this. Which I thought was really pretty. It's the Gilded Paper by DCWV. And it has some of that gold foil. It's very that very crafty neutral tone. With lots of different prints, wood grains. It's really pretty. I love this one too, the arrows. That's cute. Part cards. That's really pretty. Cut up cards. Gold foil polka dots. More arrows. Okay, so there's that one. Really like that paper pad. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's my Joann's. Hall. Let me put this aside here. And then Hobby Lobby. I'm going to have to not organize very well. We got a few things for that I'm going to make all turn stuff for my shop. But I won't show that because it's like bags and stuff. It's not really scrapbooky. Okay. So I had shown um, in the office supply section, like they have um, an area, it's kind of by like where their, their um, gift bags and paper wrap are. They have like a, an aisle that's like office supplies. And I had shown you guys some stuff I'd already gotten from this cute, like they have a whole line of this. So I got a couple more things. This is like a file holder. I think I'm actually going to hang it on my wall and keep some files in there. I thought that was super cute. And then um, they had this clipboard with paper. So the front of it is a clipboard and the inside is a paper pad. And I thought that was so cute. I just love it. And I think what I'm going to do, and I'll show you, I got some 12 by 12 frames. I have a whole bunch of those, my mind's eye, eight and a half by 11, um, like pages that have phrases on them and um, I think I'm going to those a lot of those are very similar colors to these because my office is bright and colorful and so I think I, I think I'm going to do a little wall display with those that will match this and so I will show you guys that when I'm all done since I've showed you my office supplies now. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of these white tags. They were 50% off Paper Studio Wes. Otherwise I could have just made my own. Um, but I make Christmas tags as little giveaways um, for an event that I have coming up for my shop. So I got a bunch of those. Um, this is also, or I think it's 40 off. Paper Studio is 40% off. So I grabbed this embossing folder. And then my daughter, the punches were also on sale so my daughter wanted this one so I got that for her and I'll probably I, I may use it too but she, I, I was happy that she wanted the cross that made me made me happy and then um, I grabbed since they were 50% off some of these frames I got two 8 by 8s and then a 12 by 12 and eventually I'll show you guys what I'm doing with these. These You, you could just put scrapbook pages in. Um, I'm using them to decorate my office. So I got those. And then I did get one of the newer styles that they have now. Again, because they were 50% off, so I want to take advantage of the sale. But this is a newer style that they have. Um, it's really cute. So I'll probably put like a scrapbook page in here and, and put it somewhere in my home. That is it for Hobby Lobby. Now for a cherry on top. I do have them organized by um, by line. So I'll just start with my random piles I have sitting here and 
show you what I got. So I came across this um, chicken nitty crafts and that I would give it a try. And so I got the six by six paper pad. It's called scrumptious and um, it's kind of weird because the front cover is like longer than the rest of it. So anyway, I don't have the tape undone. So I'll just try to show you, do my best to show you. But it just looked really cute and that I give it a new brand a shot here. And they are double sided. Three colors. Okay, so there's that. And then I just grabbed two of the 12 by 12s. Um, I grabbed this one. The, that's the back, but I think I got it for this side. And then this side, I'm pretty sure I got it for. But this is just an orange. And then I got some die cuts. Um, here, there's 44 pieces. There's no picture um, on there, but that looked cute. So I'll give those a shot. Cute colors. And then I got this um, Cartabella Autumn set of supplies. I got the Brads, which are really cute, and the Chipboard. It's a pretty fall set. And then I got the collection, and here's the stickers, and then I put the papers. And there's a, so it has a cut apart sheet in there as well. Okay. And then I have some kind of random stuff here. I'll get that out of the way. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Alrighty. Um, this was they had a special going on that this they had these markers for free. Um, it's think of it. It's called Witch's Boots. It's actually a cherry on top brand, so I'm excited to try that out. And then I got these Bow Bunny glitter pastes. I thought that they would be fun to play with with Christmas coming up. I got the gold and the silver. Um, I don't have any paste, so I'm excited to try those out. I got this really cute Halloween house die. I think it was like $5. That was really cute. And then this tag die. Oops, okay. um, I got this Echo Park decorative tape. It just has these multiple colors of arrows. It's really cute. Let me see if I can. There we go. I thought it was adorable, so got that. And I got this Arsenic and Lace paper pack from Echo Park. And I really did not need any Halloween stuff, but I just thought it was adorable. So there's the stickers. And I didn't get anything else with it because I have tons of Halloween brads and stuff. Um, I just wanted the stickers and the papers. Just gonna look at the papers there. And then I got these random sheets from Pink Paisley, the Sol 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 Solstice. I think I had gotten the gold embellishments um, and then just one of these papers as well. I think probably for these two sides. Well, we'll see. So I got those. And then, and some of these are things that like I had wanted a while back and asked them to notify me when they came in. And so I just add, add them to my cart when they email me. I know this is one of those, this October afternoon snapshots. I know I have more of this line, but this was a paper they didn't have on hand when I ordered initially. So I just really like this side. I like both sides, but this is my favorite. Okay, and then I got, let's 
see because I don't need Christmas stuff. So I tried to be good and at least just get a 6x6 pad and not all the paper. But I got the Pink Paisley Merry and Bright. And... It's really cute. Okay. And then I got the... These are stickers, word stickers, silver, and this set of stickers here, there's 34, okay. sorry for the glare, and there's ephemera pack, and there's more in, it looks like it's all this white glittery, but there's actually a whole bunch more in there, so I'll show you. Like all these here are all white glitter. Really cute. Okay. These cute little bows. And then these tags. There's a lot in there. There's 12 in there. It's super cute. Teresa Collins Tinsel and Company. Which is like red and gold and gray. It is a really pretty combination. Okay. Sorry about the phone there. Um, there's, I don't think, any greens in here. So it's a very different color scheme for Christmas and I love it. So here's the tags and so cute. Again, this is Tinsel and Company. And here's a look at the tags. There's 20 in there. Yep, 20. Super cute. The sequins, of course. And these have red. Kind of like this muted gold. Um, and then like a brighter gold. And then these silver stars. And the ephemera pack. There's a bunch of goodies in there. Cute. The enamel dots and the brads. And these um, photo overlays. Let's look at those. I assume the, let's see, that one's like the writing is in white. But I bet some of them are mixed in there, I bet, with some golds and things. Let me open them to see. Sometimes I like to skip past the details. And I know sometimes it's boring for people, but some people want to see that. I just wanted to see how... Looks like they're all white, like, as far as, like, the... Um, like, the designs on them are white, looks like. And then I bought this extra cut apart sheet here. And then I got the paper pack. And so here's a look at the designs. Okay. Really pretty. And there's the stickers. Collins this time around. I got the um, Life Emporium and this is really pretty. Um, I'll show you the paper first just to give you an idea of the scheme of color here. So you have this really pretty pink, the wood grain, and then just looks like some of the browns and tans and some maybe blue as well. So there's a look at the paper. And these stickers. It looks like there's like a darker, deeper yellowish gold in there too. 
That just that dusty pink is just really pretty. Okay. So then I got the this is a pack of cork pieces. So you have some individual pieces and then some actual like two by three cards or Polaroid frames. This would be fun to put like in a pocket page. That would be a really cool texture to have in there. Um, the chipboard dies or chipboard stickers. I just feel like you get a lot with her lines. And I think these are, are these ribbons. Yes, ribbons. I'm surprised I got, but they're really cute. I'll use ribbons if they're with my kit. I'm more up to. Let's see, so these are vellum stickers. So some of them you can't see. Like there's some in here that are white. You can kind of see. Really cute. Oh, here's a good better look at them. Okay. And then brads and the buttons. The tags. And the overlays. Love those. And more overlays. And oh, sorry, wrong wrong line. Those are for the other one. Okay, and then the this are the file folders and flaps. The envelopes. And little cork um, dots. These are more of a wood, and then these are cork. Really cute. And then the ephemera pack. I feel like cork is full on back now. It's funny, it was popular for a while. Because I have some old pink paisley lines from maybe like four or five years ago that had cork. Because it was had gotten big, and then it kind of disappeared for a while, and it's definitely come back. Not funny. And then the um, sequins. These are wood grain. Silver, a light yellow, and then that, that dusty pink. And then I must have gotten... Oh, yeah, I got the cut aparts. Because I think in her packs, I think you only get one of each sheet. It could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you only get one of each sheet. So I wanted to make sure I had the cut aparts. Because I love to use these. I use them all the time for layering and titles and journaling. I got the Nine and Company from Teresa Collins. And this is more that like tangerine, orange, greens, and yellows. So some really fun color schemes that I don't normally have have laying around, which is really fun. So here's a look at the Brads. Super, super cute. Like, you know, the golds and, like, this color has been around for a while, but I just love that green um, is a little different. It's a mint green, so it's been around, but this combo for, for me is just really fresh and uh, different from what a lot of the paper lines have been. There go. And there's some gold. It's so cute. Um, and the ephemera pack. There's a look at what's in there. And these vellum stickers again. You can't really see them very well, so here's a better look. That's all in there. Those are fun. Those are new. I like those a lot. Chipboard buttons. Sequins. These white ones are little flowers. The tags. And the um, folded file folders. So there's those. The overlays. Now these do have the gold. Super cute. 
and then the paper pack. Really cute. Oops, sorry. And above the camera there. Okay. And then hoping my battery doesn't die on me here. And then I'm guessing, yeah, I got these two because of their cut apart. So there's the cut apart sheets. Okay, it's really pretty. Okay, and then I got, I think I had the, I think there were a few things that were um, not available yet. I got Heidi Swap September Skies. And so here is the washi tape. Here's a look at what the. That's gonna, okay. And the wood veneers. This cute, this cute little clip set. So you have these little clips there. These I think are. I think these are magnetic. No, I don't think they are. I guess we'll see. And then these in the middle. Cute. And then I got this stamp set. I just loved these phrases. The camera. Oh, I'm gonna, my pile's falling here. There we go. I love this stamp set. It's so cute. And then I got this. Um, mini album. Oh, it's so cute on the outside. These, I don't know, that's just probably the, um, oh yes, okay. I remember this now. I love this because it has these constellations and we, in our new home, we just moved out to the country where we just stargaze all the time and so this will be would be a really cute mini album to document that. I love that. That is so cute. And then the cut aparts. And here they, she must not have had a paper pack available because um, I got all individual sheets here. This is going to be really quickly because I'm getting long here and I don't want my camera battery to die before I'm done. I don't want to do a part two because I don't have that much left. It's really cute. I love it. That's so cute. I'm kind of starting to lean towards not buying paper pads and buying the individual sheets because I'm noticing the quality of the color is a lot different in the paper pads. And I've it's been okay for the most part, but I'm kind of, I really like having the better quality of, of color. Um, sometimes it's better than others. It's not always consistently bad, but I've just been really noticing that lately that sometimes the colors are completely off from the rest of their, the paper line. Oh, that one's really cute. And then they cut apart. Super cute. Really, really, really cute. Okay. And then the last little bit here is Maggie Holmes open book which I'm sure most of you have seen and oops. Oh, fish. Fish. okay I'm gonna mess over here sorry guys um whoop. I go pile here okay so I don't know if this is technically with the line or or not but I did get these glitter words thickers And then the stickers. Super cute. Her stuff is always adorable. And the layered tags, which I really like a lot. The ephemera pack. There's 81 pieces. So cute. Look at all that, all those goodies in there. The bows, which some of them are kind of falling out. This place there. Um, the doilies. 20 of them. Those are so cute. 
I got the embossing folder, which is this floral. This is a DIY banner kit. So it must come with, oh cute. So it has the banner, the doilies, and then the, oh my goodness, those, they're glitter, it's gold glitter. How cute is that? There it is. Like love, happy, celebrate. So cute. Oh, and then the doilies, so you go in the middle. Oh, love it. And then the floral ephemera. Got all those pretty leaves, and then we're gold, glittered, foiled. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Look at all those. Love it. Oh my gosh, look at all that goodness right there. And I'm not a huge floral person, but it's really cute. Chipboard. The house is cute. And then the papers. And I, again, I'll be quick because I got the individual sheets versus the pad. And look at that. So cute. Just going to flip them. Hopefully you guys can see them okay. Got two of each. That is adorable. Look at that's fun too. Because I generally will use, would like to have the option of using both sides. And that's cute. Oh, look at that. Hopefully my pile doesn't fall on everything here. Like a graph. It's interesting that there's a dartboard theme on here. That's awesome. I don't know. I guess I used to play darts a long, long time ago with an old boyfriend. I guess I could scrapbook about that, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I probably won't do that, but I'm sure it'll I'll find it. That's really pretty ombre, like a really light pink into a white. Good green. That's pretty. Her stuff is just always so much fun and eclectic and just gorgeous and trendy and I love that. So there's both sides. I'll be able to cut. I think I got two of two of them so I could cut apart and use each side. Stripes and florals. Polka dots. Some cut aparts for borders if you want. Parts. And the vintage papers and tags. And then another floral. And that is so pretty. Look at that. Okay. All right, you guys. Sorry that ran really long, but that's my haul. I'm going to put it all away, bag up my kits, and hopefully be back soon with a new kit to play with.